camera goes. Um, can, is, is any of my monitors capable of seeing this stuff? What's that again? None of these two? Can you put one in for me? Where's the, where's the, uh... Ah! Oh. What's up, guys? We got 10 people, 15. Nice. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I want to welcome you guys to the live glass blowing prep for uh, the workshop tomorrow. 22 people in so far. Thank you guys so much. Woo. And uh, I'm here with the amazing Gus Glass. Oh, who no, came all the way from, <laughs> from Washington to, to show you guys some master line work. So we're gonna give you guys a little bit of preview for the workshop tomorrow. And uh, there's still some spots left and you can use the promo code GUSFIRE for 25% off. So go ahead and sign up if you're interested in seeing more. We're gonna be on for like half an hour to an hour at the most. And then tomorrow all day. And then of course at 4.20 p.m. tomorrow, we're gonna have the open house. So. Here's Gus, and you guys know who I am, so thanks so much for watching. And then you got your comments here, Gus. Cool. So you can see what I know, a little, are... it's, it's weird, it's, a, it's on a little, a little bit of a delay. Yeah, yeah, there's about 30 second delay. There you go. Yep. All right, Ooh. Matt, thank you so much. Bill, how's it going? David, hey. John, yep, yeah, we're having a great time. And I appreciate all the support, you guys. What's up, chat? I'm gonna say chat. I'm not gonna say everyone's name. <laughs> What's going <good> with chat? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's like fam, all at the same time. Yeah. So we have our five camera angles set up as usual, you guys. And uh, we'll be <laughs> running through the cameras, doing some testing. We always, as you guys know, like to do this the day before the workshop just to make sure everything runs smoothly. It's always good to be prepared like the Boy Scouts. So we're just gonna be chilling in the studio, hanging out, shooting the shit. I'm sure there'll be something to learn, but tomorrow's is just gonna be kind of more focused on instruction, as opposed to today is more like demonstration, hanging out, just watching what's happening. Yeah, just trying to get the feel going. I'm just prepping up some of this, uh, some handles for tomorrow. So these will be, uh, we'll be pulling these down and wigging these up. Nice little stack from Golden Gate. Golden Gate Glassworks. Got to give a shout out to Mr. Dave Strobel and Saeed Motadi. And Bill, don't forget Bill. I don't think Bill was uh, Bill somebody was, Bill's not the owner. He's, uh, he's just the main man you're going to talk to when you, uh, oh, okay. when you order. Cool. He, he's, he's the man who makes it all flow right now and then for the, uh, on the front of, in the front of the house. Nice. And you guys, don't forget to thank Kenzo. He's amazing, super amazing human that really Dude. is the glue that makes all this work where's for a good, us. Where's a good close-up camera, <laughs> Kenzo? We're gonna, right now, I'm just, I'm just kidding, like if I'm gonna go to an area, because I got this beautiful fucking stargazer right here. I don't know where you're at. There, there's, <laughs> light, yeah. What do you want for the first Kenzo? I hear it. So we're getting all the kinks oh, worked dope. out. That'd be there dope. we go. <laughs> oh, so we're going to do something pretty cool here for you guys. We're going to cool. change this monitor so that you can see the camera that's on right now. Okay. Yeah. I guess Kenzo can do that. I didn't know we could do that. Yeah, that's totally fine. You know, it's a, uh, I guess I'm, I, the reason I, I, because normally when I do a live stream, of course, I just use my phone. So it's not as good a setup as this. So I'm always, I want to show, show people something, I like, I reach to an area and I'm like, see, look at this. But this beautiful Stargazer purple from, uh, from North Star that I prepped out for the rig we're making tomorrow. Just gonna open this stuff up and, cause this will be the, uh, this will end up being the bottom lip, or the bottom of the, uh, the bottom ridge of the, uh, the can. 
Woohoo! Is that some feedback here? Uh, let us know how the audio sounds, you guys. Also, the camera angles. You know, give us some fee free feedback for tomorrow. Me, Lee, are you in the class tomorrow? Uh, Panda Glass Art, what's up? You are. How's it going? There We're we go. We got audio. Super excited it. to uh, to see you. All right. Oh, there we go. Is that better, Kenzo? Yes, I you guys. I see myself on, on camera, and I'm always thinking to myself, every time I see myself, I'm like, why so serious? <laughs> <laughs> like, I go here with, like, super concentration on all my stuff. Okay. It looks like you have one of your collectors in the room here, Gus Doring. He has a timber rig that he got from you. Oh, yeah. He says one of his favorites. Dude, I love that. There's the, the ones I was able to make with that timber. I was with, the, with Dipro, right? I wish I could. Uh, I wish they made that anymore. I do. Jenny Chris. <laughs> Thanks so much for the suggestion on the likes, you guys. Yeah, make sure you burn up that like button. Click it. Just one click of the finger. Share his glass going with more people around the world. We really appreciate that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, that, of course, is an amazing thing that you could do so you'd know when we drop new videos. Yep, Dorian says it's the one with that crow. The timber rig with that crow. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Kenzo, when you look at this, can you tell how zoomed in this camera is? Like how many millimeters? Uh, is that, yeah, is that on the screen? Twenty-four. Oh yeah, no, it's right here. Twenty-four point two. my goal. Twenty-four point two. Is that it? Oh, no, that's that's the the bolt. Oh. James, things have been going good. I've been working super hard, learning new things. Just made a goblet, a fun goblet for the online school. Um, yeah, things have been going good. Thanks for asking. Thanks, Michael. I appreciate that. Much love back to you. So this is the first time I've used uh, Stargazer. I don't know if you guys are from, how much uh, you're familiar with it. The new uh, beautiful damn purple that came out of North Star. Beautiful purple. Definitely very stiff and I'm learning how to work it as we speak. It is definitely a beautiful color. I love it. Now, now, now. That might be something I've got for the thumbnail. We signed up though, or something like that. Oh, like to start off, like when we start off the workshop or like the test stream, put up a thumbnail like this. Best last we're gonna stream starting soon. Please sign up at reverse.com. Really happy y'all are able to tune in here and while we're working all the bugs out, making sure everything's dialed in. Yeah, I mean my answer to that is kind of essential or can you get one get by without one? Uh, Gus, I'm sure, will answer too, but my answer is you could totally get by without one, but it does make life easier and save you money. What's yeah. that? A foot pedal. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I uh, the, the guy I learned to blow glass from was like, has always kind of poo pooed a foot pedal, so it took me a while to actually get one, and uh, I, I don't live without them. There's just no way, shape, or form. It, um, I have an old roommate of mine. Um, you, you, you all if you follow a lot of glass on Instagram or anything. My buddy uh, Goliath. Goliath, I love his content. Oh, man. he's he's he's, well, like, he's fun, but his uh, he's he's a beast on the torch. That's the thing about you know. I mean, I I know him. On, you know, I know him very personally. Like I said, he's been my roommate for a couple of years, and uh, we 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 live together and work together. So, uh, but that boy will like. That boy will sit here and like do this and like do that. And like he works his foot pedal like that to keep keep a nice tight little area, but then keep everything warm. It's ridiculous. The man is uh, the man is just a beast. Yeah. So a couple questions. Glass Alchemy, Mike McCown is a good it's a good glass. Absolutely, it's great glass to use. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um and Dorian is asking, um, what gave you the idea for the dragon spoons? Oh, um, the dragon pipes originally came out of, uh, Bob Snodgrass used to make some steamrollers way back in the day. And the guy I knew, Bud Burns, um, was made a different kind of style of them. Uh, we kind of equated it more to a Portland style versus the Eugene style that Bob Snodgrass would do. It was a lot more, um, it was a lot more concise. It didn't have as much character, but it was very, it was, it was very orderly and very neat. And then, uh, but the, the number of seals that had to be made for it were, uh, were a little bit, a little bit hard to do on a production level to get to the, what, what stores really wanted at the time. And that's where a lot of us were going through, you know, selling the stores. Um, and a guy, uh, a guy who used to run this little studio called Fat Cat's Glass in Portland. His name's Tom Covell. You can still find him online, on Instagram. He had developed a way to do this ring seal and keep that, 
and uh, and still get the same effect of the stream of smoke coming out of the dragon's mouth, as opposed to a normal like steamroller where just like you fill up the entire thing with smoke and then bail it out, you know, and then and take this big hit. So, uh, so yeah, I gotta I gotta give it up for Tom Cavell and Bud Burns for kind of you know bringing out those ideas, and then uh, yeah, just start making them. There are a bunch of us making a similar style in that in the area, in the Portland area for. Uh, in the early 2000s. Um, there's another guy, a gentleman by the name of Garrett, who was making them for a, a reasonable time. There's a, a guy who um, goes by Gremlin Glass, who was, who was making them as well. So a lot of different people. And then uh, as the years have gone on, they just, I mean, other people fell off. And I kept making them. You know, and I've made some I feel like I've made 15,000 <laughs> of those things. I bet, yeah, I mean, like, literally, like, five, seven years ago, or seven years ago, I, I could easily have said I made ten, I've made 10,000 of them, and then I, uh, I kind of made so many of them that I had to stop. I just was so burnt out on them. Um, until, like, about four years ago when I started making them again, so I was going to try a few of them, and remembered how much people really love them and they're really it's a really good pipe with that dual car so for those of you guys who are on the live uh, Instagram there is uh, the on the YouTube channel with beer glass oh. there is the test stream with all of the camera set up so you're welcome to check that out on YouTube right now we have about 45 people in the room thank you guys all on YouTube for uh, checking this out today tell us um, where you guys are from, where you're watching from, and um, you, you know what you love about glass blowing or what you love about watching glass blowing, and uh, we're happy happy to answer any questions. Right now, I'm just kind of even this little pull out. I pulled it out, and there was just one side is a little wider than another, and I want to try to get it as evenly thickness and diameter as possible before I start doing a wigwag for it. And that's what this is gonna be. I'm just gonna do some practice wigwags. Anytime you're in a different studio space, or at least for me, anytime I'm in a different studio space, it takes me a, a half a day or a day to like get comfortable with things. What's up, Guild Extracts, my homie? How are you? I have your uh, repair done. Boom! And uh, you need that's to come and pick it up. And you should come by and say hi to Gus. His work is incredible. I'm not sure what you're doing this weekend my man but um you should come by and bring bring some of that chemo juice with you thanks for checking in i appreciate that man i know, I know how busy you are Woo. dorian from fucking british isle yep we got new zealand troy from new zealand can you put up some kiwi Emojis for us. We got Montana, Kentucky, Pasadena, California, Casey Young. If I connect, I'll do respect. The brown pickle bags. Prince, Prince George, BC. We got people from all over the world, even Omaha, Nebraska. Fifty people in the YouTube stream. Thank you to you guys. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we appreciate that. It gives us the power to make more videos. Another person from Canada. Customer. All right. Oh, you were able to get the, the jacks here. directly from Italy, the uh, Revere jacks. That's awesome, man. Those things are usually sold out at Spiral Arts, so congratulations uh -oh. on getting those. Oh.
Thanks you guys on Instagram for checking it out. If you wanna see a little bit more HD and more camera angles, feel free to hop onto the YouTube channel. Oh, the YouTube channel's where to go. Yeah. Yeah, I got a little more, uh, a little more chat interaction. I can't, I can't see any of the, the uh, Instagram chat. No, that's just not on my phone, you guys. Of course. What was that? I was just telling people that the, in oh, yeah. the Instagram is on my phone. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. I see, you, I see you sitting there with that. I should have passed you my phone. Yeah, yeah. Double, double fist in it. We could um, do that <laughs> share, the share the story thing, you know. Thanks. Thanks, David, I appreciate that. It's a treat to have you in here as well. We have somebody from Portland, Oregon, in Missouri. Missouri! Missouri. That's right, Missouri. Happy medium glass loves that in glass blowing we can make gravity work for us as opposed to against us. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely, uh, I tend to a lot of times with my handles and different type, different points, just hang my glass up, straight up and down, to pull, let gravity pull it to straight. <laughs> there is the Nikuala on your request, Mr. Hawaii Glass. That is the Nikuala. <laughs> Oh, you know what? There's a little, bit, you know, Matt will, uh, I'm going to go into that uh, really in detail in tomorrow's class. So that'll be, uh, that'll be a lot of, the, 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 there's a little bit of, of condensing along the way. And you know, that's, I would be like going straight detail in the entire process. We're going to go over this and really get, really get into the weeds and do it. Yep, 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 yep. So Today we're just hanging out and chilling. Yep. We got this Badger is a Fist here. Badger has been a student of the online school for a long time and his work's totally improved. What's up, Badger? And uh, looks like Kyle got his first heady piece was from you. And it's a double Dragon Ball and he's been blowing glass for about six years. And he uh, says thanks for sparking the fire in him. Oh, my brother, you don't know how many times I've actually, uh, I've heard that. It's really wonderful each time. It's a, uh, there's a, a there's so many people I so many people I have heard talk about that being their first one of their first pipes and like uh, there's a, a buddy of mine uh, Byron Kiernan lives in Washington, Washington same thing he was just like I can't believe like this is one of the first first pipes that the one of your double drags the first pipes that I ever fucking had and it made me want to fucking blow glass and I just like warms my like warms my fucking goddamn heart. <laughs> Connections here. Mm -hmm. Of course, Badger. Throwing fire, I like to use the Nikuala for um, late stage construction and back, like um, making sleeves. It's kind of what I, I use, crack repair. I love it for that as well. Um, you know, some people are just like straight up blowing glass. Like Mitzel was using that thing to like basically blow his whole little rigs. And um, so, you know, it depends how you want to use it, but, but that's what I use it for. Late stage construction, crack repair, and sleeving it mostly. But uh, every time I'm doing one of those things, I kind of defer to it, even on the droplets. I used to do final construction on the lathe, but I feel like um, I have like so much more mobility on the Nikuala, so I've been doing final stage construction of the droplets on the Nikuala too. Wolf Mountain Organic, what's up buddy? I miss you. You gotta come down to Berkeley next time you're driving through the bay and uh, Show me some of that beautiful flower that you you make. It's unbelievable. So these are the three camera angles during the workshop tomorrow, you guys. We'll have 
Uh, the two, three, one camera angle up at a time so you guys can see multiple angles of what's happening. Uh, I feel like it's a really good educational tool. We have 60 people in the room right now, so thank you guys so Woo! much for joining. Make sure you hit that like button, you guys. Like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Isn't there that you the go. YouTube thing? Yep, that's Gotta the YouTube thing. Gotta do that for the YouTube. Um, Matt Broden, that's a, that's a kind of an individual preference question. What's the best all around shades? I mean, or, or lens, in my opinion, has the best quality, but that, that's, you know, that's like personal opinion. Some people like to wear a shade three or a shade five or the purple. Most of the eyes just wear like a really high quality purple or, or lens, unless I'm using black or blue or something, and then I'll throw on my dark ones, but totally personal preference. But I would recommend buying something nice because you want to protect your eyes. Thanks you guys for uh, coming over from Instagram. I can see a couple of you are because you're saying the camera angles are way better, which they are. They're 4K cameras and multiple cameras, so uh, they definitely are better cameras. Badger, I've attended most of the workshops and gotta say they are better than in-person learning for seeing all the details. Thanks Badger, um, I appreciate you joining so many and you know I love working together with you, so. I just appreciate you continuing to check out what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> Matt, you can wear, per, you can get prescription lenses made at Aura Lens if you send them your prescription, or there's glasses that will fit over prescriptions, but I would just recommend getting prescription Didium. Yeah, I'll have to say with the, the, the lens question, um, with the line work specifically, I, uh, I tend to go to the purple lenses and not the dark lenses, uh, if possible. There's a point where the darker lenses, when you get a little more orange aura off the flame, because what these do is they, they cut out that yellow glare the, that, if you didn't have them, there's a yellow-orange glare that would flare up around the torch, or around the, where the glass is, is melting. And with the darker lenses and specifically the line work, if you're trying to get real detail in there, that little orange haze is kind of hard to see through. I know it's a little late to the party on that, uh, that comment, but I figured there were a lot of questions that Justin was stealing on at one time. <laughs> oh yeah, no, go ahead and just interrupt me, go say whatever you need to. Uh, people are always interested in learning, you know, different people's opinions and like, mm -hmm. even with wigwags, like, the scene, I know they've all watched me do a wigwag, man, but you're gonna do them differently and bring in more flavor than, than they've ever seen, so it's always good to just well, let people know your thoughts. There's a, there's a lot of diff, there's a lot, there's a large difference between just moving the glass back and forth and all the different details that make them even and, and as close to perfect as possible. And that's really the, uh, that's really what we're really going through with this. But then there's also a lot more advanced stuff beyond that. So this is just the first, you know, we say, we said wigging out or a wig wag, and this is a lot of what I'm doing right now. But there's a lot more that we'll be doing along with like, we'll be, uh, we'll be doing like some more advanced line work with this. Where am I, where, where's a good spot to show this, Ken? No? Yeah, so like this is, uh, this is like a really nice, what I call it, I call it a flame wag. It's a type of rewig where we'll be, a, you know, shifting the axis in different ways and re, uh, and, and just creating different feels. There's a few other techniques that I, uh, that I'll have, that I'll be doing tomorrow as well. A lot of the reasons I'm, I'm doing, a, and you know, if you look at my bench or if you see some of the stuff I'm doing here tonight or and earlier today, it was, a lot of wigwags because what we're going to be doing is pairing them up and reversing them, you know, and, and putting them together and reversing them. And to do that and get the best effect, you want to get, you want to make sure that the, the, the two halves that you're going to be putting together, like these are two halves that we'll be putting together, that when you put them together, that they're the same size, that they're the same consistency of the, uh, of, uh, of switchbacks. 
And then, you know, this is, if they're a little bit off, it doesn't, it doesn't look as good. And we're, you know, I'm here as someone who wants to make, I want to make this shit look as good as possible. Um, sweet tooth. No, we don't use Diddy Clips for the cameras. Uh, in my opinion, Aura Lens makes the best, um, the best uh, Didium filters in the industry. And uh, Diddy Clips is just a repurposed Philips lens. It did work and everything like that, but what we try to go for is really the highest optical quality possible for you guys. And I feel like Aura Lens uh, is just, there's nothing that surpasses that from the testing that I've done. But um, Diddy Clips is welcome to send me something to try out. If any of you guys know those guys, I know they've been sponsoring some glass blowers. I'd be happy to test out one of their lenses and see, see what they're doing. We got about 50 something people in the YouTube channel, you guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. That's the like button, Dorian. That thumbs up button. That's the that's the one to like the video. Thanks, Sweet Tooth, we appreciate that. Yeah, we put a lot of thought and effort into what cameras we're gonna use and the settings that we have on them and the Dididium filter, so I appreciate you noticing. Thanks for saying that. If there's Ooh. anything that you guys Snap. wanna see better, just let that. us know. Yeah, that's a good question, Dorian. Dorian's asking about how do you deal with the different viscosities of glass? when you're doing a wigwag. But that'll be answered a little bit more in detail tomorrow in the class, Dorian. That's a great question. And that's actually why I chose this particular, this, this is the, this mix is one that I'll be using in the, uh, in the class tomorrow, specifically because I have half of it's black and half of it's white. See, I'm looking at the, the camera, the monitor right here. I gotta remember to look over here. Because half of it's white and half of it's black, and that has a, a much different viscosity with the way that it, the way that it, um, the way that it behaves, and you might have, if you you might have noticed how when I'm actually doing this little bit, my my hands aren't moving in the same way because there's a little bit where it's wants to it wants to sag down to the black area a little bit more. But yes, we're gonna go into it into that hardcore tomorrow. The amount of inf information that's going to be thrown out tomorrow is going to be ridiculous. Um, been sitting and, and going over this and making an outline for the last week to really get into really get into the weeds with it. And like, there's uh, there's a point where uh, Justin was asking me today. He does his uh, he does his wig wax. He actually uses a blow tube while he's doing this. And I don't. And there's specific reasons that I don't. And uh, there's advantages that I found. Particularly, I mean, his his stuff is super tight. I don't want to, you know, I'm not saying that my way is the right way and his way is not. But there's a there's a whole bunch of different details that we're gonna be getting into, getting into tomorrow. And that's the beautiful thing, you guys. So why is, is this going can... in and out, by the way? Just this monitor. Uh, it just it's sometimes sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Is it like a black screen? Yeah. It's a black screen on occasion. Like I, I just went to go glance out up at it. It might be a cable a little bit loose. We know we're not Okay, cool, cool. Again, we're all, we're figuring out all the all the little all the little bugs tonight. Okay.
How's everything going here, Kenzo? All seems to be flowing right? Awesomeness. Awesomeness. Yeah, of course, Matt. You know, we do this for the love. It's not, no, no, nobody's getting rich off this, but we do it just because we love to share. And uh, just, yeah, thanks for appreciating it. And thanks for coming. And we continue to do it because of people like you coming and checking it out, man. All right, let's do this. Let's take this big long one and see if we can see if we can do something really pretty with it. Good luck is what the question is. So taking a big, taking a big long stick like this and keeping it even throughout the whole thing is a real, is a challenge. So you guys, we're going to be on for another 10 to 15 minutes or so, just FYI. No. Yeah. If you guys want to see more, there's a whole day tomorrow. It's eight hours minus a couple of breaks for lunch and stuff. Um, and there's a fire sale mm -hmm. right now where you can get 25% off just fire. using the uh, promo code um, uh, Gus, Gus Fire, right? Gus Fire! Fire. Gus Fire. And of course, uh, your membership discount applies as well. Woo! Kenzo is the unsung hero. Let's sing a song for Kenzo Badger Hall. Kenzo! <laughs> he's our hero! Now he's the now sung, he's sung hero. hero. <laughs> <laughs> cool, I'm glad you picked up on that. I will, uh, I will, I will, I, oh, most of my jokes are very obvious. I did not go for the subtle ones. <laughs> Right. I think we should get Kenzo a cape, though. That's a good suggestion, Badger. Then he will really be a hero. <laughs> but he has to also wear his underwear over his pants. Just like a real hero. <laughs> oh, man, you guys obviously have not seen The Incredibles, right? No okay. cape. Dad jokes. You guys, you know that you only get dad jokes if there's 100 likes. So I will do a dad joke, but there has to be 100 likes. So. Like that button, and maybe if you're lucky in the next 10 minutes, you'll get a dad joke too. Gus could, Gus could do it. He's a dad, so he's got my permission to do the official Revere Glass dad joke at 100. Oh yeah, no, I don't, uh, I, that's too much pressure on me. Too much pressure for the dad joke, I got Yeah, it. no, it's just gotta come naturally. Exactly. You know, I can't, I can't do it on command. I wish I could. <sighs> You guys like the camera angles? You got the overhead, the side view, and the front view. Just so you kind of see the different. Oh, Badger, that's funny. He can't decide which angle he likes best, but he doesn't have to choose because we can put on multiples at once, he says. <laughs> I feel like Badger's been here before. Badger has been here before. <laughs> Badger's here. He's here for most of the workshop. He comes to the master classes that I do every two weeks on the website. Nice. Mm -hmm. And he's done really well over the last, uh, maybe, year or so he's been doing it with me nice. and uh, making marinis and just set up a new studio. It's cool. Cool to see people's progress. And then Alex, uh, Dobie Wan Glass, he's been a student for a year, year and a half, and he'll be coming uh, a couple days after you leave to do some demonstrations for the school and for the YouTube and to make a piece with me. Very cool.
right, you guys, you know Profound Glassworks, the shirt that Gus has on, they make opals. If uh, any of you guys are interested, they're very nice opals. Yeah, I bought enough of them that I have a whole wardrobe of just Profound Glass shirts. Nice. <laughs> And yeah. I have a brand new one sitting in my P.O. box at home. I ordered some, uh, some opals from them just before I came. And they're like, I'm like, well, they come the day after I leave, so I just get to see them when I get back. Ooh. What's that? Yeah, I got my white panda going on. Pretty much, man, this, you know, that's... If you see me do a demo, if you see me do a class or whatever, I'll have my white panda going on in the background. <laughs> I love my I love my pop my pop remixes. <laughs> Sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. I get a good feeling, yeah. Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling. That's the other thing that you guys will get signing up for the class. My beautiful, beautiful singing voice. There's no two ways about it. I will be singing at some point in time. But I promise not to like break out the lame is or anything like that. Okay, maybe I will. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Frankie. And I'm giving Kenzo a real challenge here too, because I'm all, you know, I always move when I'm doing glass work. I know a lot of people who will uh, stay really freaking still with what they do, but I'm always stepping back and moving around with my torch. One thing that I actually enjoyed, you know, uh, Matt, no, we're gonna, uh, Matt, are you doing the class tomorrow? Matt Broadman? Give him about a minute to answer because I will. Really, I will. Yeah. I will. That's why. I, thank you very much. And I, I figured I would let you know who I'm talking to. Because yeah, it's really it's one of the more it's one of the more basic skills that you can use to really add flair and to. Uh, to your glasswork. Alright. Yeah, Matt will be in the class tomorrow. Awesome. Well, Matt, we will go over that tomorrow. Because, you know, it's, it is a, uh, it's a really, it's not an acquired skill, it just, re it just requires staying present in what's going on right now. And which is just a wonderful thing, not only in glass work, but it's also a wonderful thing in life. And strangely enough, there's gonna be some really Odd introspective, you know, reasons to how I came into doing the glass work or to doing line work. That was uh, it was really important for uh, for my overall mental well-being, and uh, that's one reason that I really I, I enjoy sharing it with people. But I have like seven hours of air to fill up tomorrow, so I'm saving a lot of what I'm going to be talking about for tomorrow. And I'm uh, glad you guys are here hanging out and can get, get a chance to see what's going on here and maybe whet your appetite.
Yeah, and I will say it like that, like stay in the now, be glass, you know, or something like that. I know other people would be like, you know, get all cheesy, like, the present, it's a gift, and that's why it's called the present, or something like that, but, <laughs> which sounds great, but, a little too hard work for me. Ooh. Matt, no, it, um, we will, it, it will all come together as one piece at the end. And you'll notice I'm traveling, as I travel up and down with the, uh, the line, or the, 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 uh, the tube, it allows the heat to, um, soak, work back into the other piece, or work back into the other section. I can tell Matt is going to have a lot of really good questions tomorrow. Yeah. He's yep. going to keep me on my toes. Which is awesome because I thought I was going to have like trouble filling up the entire time. But I'm realizing now that people are just going to, are going to be challenging me to come up with, to, to, to come up with things in a way that I don't typically think about them anymore. Oops. Here's yeah, my belly. Badger, you should definitely join if you have time, and uh, we'd love to have you in the class. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, what's really helpful too, Gus, um, as, we're re as the, the comments come in, is if we read the question aloud too, so that somebody watching the video later would, uh, they, they're not gonna necessarily see the chat come up well, at I the same time. That sounds awesome, yeah, I think after, uh... After this little session, we should, you know, we'll have a chance, you and I can have a chance to sit down and kind of map out, now that we've, now that we've started this, map out how, how best that we're going to, uh, um, to kind of get the, the, the give and take flow tomorrow. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, you guys, I'm going to give it another five minutes. We've already gone over the 15 cutoff, but I just want to give you one more cutoff. We're going to cut it off at 5.53 in five minutes. And uh, we appreciate you guys watching. There's 65 people in the room right now. Woo! You guys, make sure you burn up that like button. Hit that like button. And, and, and I'm gonna give you quick, guys a quick hint. The uh, quick little something. As soon as this uh, YouTube goes off, I'm gonna hand my, my phone and my Instagram live feed to Dustin and make him uh, do like five, 10 minutes on my live stream, Gus Glass Instagram channel. Yep, happy to do it. And we'll, uh, so you can see the rest of this. Yeah, Gus Glass, at Gus Glass on Instagram. Yep. Give him a follow if you're not already. And of course, of course, you guys. My pleasure to be here with you. Yeah, thanks everyone for, for tuning in. I can't wait to see everyone who's going to be in class tomorrow. It's going to be a, uh, there's going to be so much going on. I'm, I, I've got everything shit planned out to do this really nice rig. We've got a beautiful, uh, we've got some sections already set out. Well, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a good time. And then I know someone who's uh, who who, 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 signed, who signed up asking about um, some like pendants, some hollow disc pendants. Um, and some of the attachments that we'll be putting on the rig will be some uh, will basically be the same template as just doing a nice little pendant. Which for someone who's not doing who's not thinking as advanced and they're building like a a, a functional rig. You will get a chance to, to to get some some products that you can actually finish and turn around and start making yourself. Yeah, some of these guys do really well. I've seen some of the people who join the workshops mm -hmm. just learn really well and, and start to make some of the pieces from the workshops and practice. So it's really rewarding to see you guys take what you learn and apply it to your own work and change it up a little bit for your style. And it's uh, it's just a beautiful process. Yeah, I should have. Uh... <laughs> I had some pendants and I should have brought one. And I didn't even think about it. <laughs> I just don't wear jewelry, but I should have had should have had one for uh, for being around my neck. It's all good. Okay.
you guys have any final questions, comments that you want to share with us before we head out, if you haven't hit that like button yet, that's an important thing to do before you leave. If you've liked the video, of course. All right. All right, you guys, we are going to sign off. And if you want um, more Gus Glass tonight, we're gonna go on his Instagram feed. He's gonna hand me the phone and I'll, I'll film him or Kenzo will film him for the next little bit. So you guys can check that out too um, if you want a little bit more. Awesome family, cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Love you, love you. All Mwah. right, you guys, we will see Mwah. you tomorrow Mwah. for the class. And we'll see you in just a minute on Gus Glass's Instagram. Thanks so much.